This time I'm going to show you 5 hacks in PowerPoint that will make your slides looking beautiful and same time save you hours. I don't know about you, but when I started to, to work in PowerPoint, I was really frustrated by the fact that I have beautiful photos or pictures with transparent background and I couldn't edit them in PowerPoint. And that was really, really a challenge for me when I started again. So, as you can see here, I have this world map. It is with transparent background, but somehow if I want to change the color of this photo, PowerPoint provides me some limited options here. But I don't like these colors. I'd like to have opportunity to change it in a color which I would like to have. So, what is the hack? I would go to my, or not my, to web, type Pixabay, and then type here world map but not images I would search for illustrations and then here I have my world map I will download download it here here I have my my map then again I will open Convertio Convertio is a platform where you can convert any format of photo or audio into any other then going to into downloads this is my world map it's in png here it is and then i will convert it into vector which is emf this is enhanced meta file then press convert wait few seconds just for machine to convert it and here i have option to download my world map and th this is my world map in EMF then drag my world map and drop it at my slide which is here yes I will delete this one this is my world map then right click ungroup you will get this message J just say yes right click ungroup and then you will have your world map with layout which is transferred totally behind you can delete it as a shape in fact as a group of shapes then you can select everything group it right click here format shape then say it is locking aspect ratio then you can resize it and if you'd like to change color you can go and say this color or I'd like to have this green this green is good for me so that's the first hack. The second hack that will save you very much time is about animation. For example, I have here this slide which has these five shapes and I'd like to have them animated in a same order. So I'd like to animate all of these shapes but Usually people or guys or anyone who operates in, in PowerPoint are selecting one shape then giving the it animation, second shape giving it animation and etc etc. So you can select just one shape, give it animation, for example I would give it fade, it should start on click etc etc, be du durated at 50, uh, 0.5 seconds etc etc. Then, if you'd like to animate all other effects, there is no need to select them, give them animation. You have to just select the first shape with set animation. Go here into animation pa uh, animation tab. Here you have option animation painter. Double press here and then just copy your animation and paste it, uh, paste that animation into other shapes. And then you have all shapes animated as first one so that's the second hack, hack that will save you a lot a lot of time then third hack which will again be very very useful and uh, very interesting for you is about how to edit photos in powerpoint in a few minutes 
you'll see right now. So again, I'll go to my Pixabay, then write the uh, type here, woman. Let's see what we are going to get, but not this vector, but images. And then I'll try to find some photo of woman, for example, you'd like to have, I don't know, your face or some other face. Let me try with this one. I will just right click, copy image, go to my slide and paste it there. So this is my, for example, this is my photo. But again, I'll just add here new slide. My photo, I would like to be in a rounded, it's not, like, it's too big for, for my slide. If I resize it, it will be too smaller because background is too big. Then what, what, what I should do? I should insert this shape, enlarge it a bit, just to be in accord accordance with my photo. Let's try to crop like this, send it into back. Yes, that would be good. Then I will select both shapes, photo and this shape, both objects and go into merge. So format tab, go into, into merge shapes and then fragment, delete this one. And here I have my photo edited. It will fit to my overall design. For example, I'd like my photo to be here. Looking good. That's my third hack. My fourth hack is related again to photo editing, but this time uh, as background. I will just delete this this photo. I don't need it anymore. For example, I'd like to to have this photo at Pixabay as my background. I will take it. No worries. Take it. Place it at my slide. So enlarge it to fit to my slide. And this would be my background. But if this background of my title slide, of course that I should have some title text here. And then I will make it bigger, uppercases. Then I will give some bold, so impact, much bigger. Okay, if I place this text here, somehow it's not it's not visible good as it should be okay i could change the color white it's better but again not so good what is the the hack i'm going just to insert between this title between this text and between photo background this shape which i'm going to use as an overlay in a black color without shape outlines then I'm going to give a bit of transparency and then just select my text, click here in a corner and say bring to front. And now I have my beautiful photo, which is somehow still beautiful, but again, my text is more visible. Even more, if you'd like to make some special shapes out of this overlay, then you can select this overlay right click on it, edit points, and then you can take this point, place it right here in the middle, for example, here, and you can take this point, for example, and place it here. And now you have beautiful title slide. You might use it for your presentations, where you have your beautiful picture with very visible title text. So this is my fourth hack. And at the end, I'm going to show you something which I believe that everyone should know, but and you might know it. But again, let me just show you one of my favorite options in PowerPoint that I'm using very, very, uh, very, very much. So for example, I have five shapes, same size, I will just copy and paste five times. And for example, this is my timeline. I will just align it here vertically and horizontally. 
sorry, just align it into middle and then align it uh, like this vertically. So here I have my five shapes and then I'd like to, to change all of them in a special way. So for example, I'd like to uh, change shape fill, maybe to uh, kill the shape line, then maybe to add some uh, shadow here. Let me, let me make it like this. So I have this, then I'm going to go to shadow and to give some inner shadow. Okay, then I should do every, every of these options with all of these shapes separately. What I'm doing usually. I'm just selecting this one and as I do with this animation painter here I have format painter just double click tap 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 and I have all of my shapes formatted as the first one okay guys that those were my five hacks that I believe would save you much much time in, uh, working in PowerPoint and that will help you enhance look and feel of your PowerPoint presentations. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, write me, uh, and that would be it for this time. See you next time. Bye.